My name is Sai Ato from Alleluia Ministry International in New York. I'm here today um, because this is my altar. I've known Papa through YouTube uh, since 2018 and I came here in 2019 and Papa prophesized uh, on my life. So my family and I were doing well since then. But sometimes we have seen fighting from the enemy. And whenever you see fighting from the enemy, you know that the Lord has a great thing for your life. So I'm here to encourage somebody. Whatever you're going through, believe this altar is a powerful altar. I'm Bishop Sanders from the United States of America. It's a blessing to be here at the IVP. So many things has happened in me and my wife's life since we've been part of AMI. Now, I am a covenant son. I love my spiritual father. I love my spiritual mother. Great things has continued to happen in our life since we've been part of AMI. Testimonies behind testimonies behind testimonies. I can't even talk about the testimonies because there's so many and I'm looking forward to many, many more testimonies. My name is Victoria Shehana. I'm from UK MI. I serve under Pastor Christopher Lelo. I've been in the MI since 2018. I came over here. The Spirit of the Lord led me to come over here. And when I came over, since I joined MI, I've seen, seen so many things changing in my life. I cannot mention one by one but i just thank god for what god is doing in my life and even in my family so to god be the glory and i praise god for this god of africa indeed i'm a daughter of my prophet and i will eat this year in jesus name i am pastor mandy watson from ami springfield massachusetts and we are so excited to be here at our father's house. It has been two years since we've been here to Jerusalem. And what a powerful, explosive time we're having. I've been here already for seven days and I've been receiving. And it's just exciting to be able to be back home with our family. This place was imposed on me. I didn't choose South Africa. South Africa it chose me. Like our father says, you don't choose your spiritual father, but God chooses him for you. And I thank God for my father, Alf Lukau. If it was not for that man of God, I would not be here today. My husband would not be here today. So I thank God for him. I thank you, my father. I honor you. I salute you for being the man of God that you are. Mama Celeste, I thank you for all that you are and all that you do for leading us as a powerful woman of God, standing behind a man of God. I honor you and I love you, mommy. I thank you to my AMI family for just welcoming us and loving us. And we are just grateful to be here and we are coming back again and again. We are leaving here this place and going back to America and touching down and we are going to turn Springfield, Massachusetts upside down, upside right for God. Since I keep connected with this ministry, my life has changed. So many things have happened to my life. I have my business and it wasn't going good and from this day on, my business is prospering, things are going well in my life. We decided that the first opportunity we got to be here, we would come because we were fighting against some enormous challenges in Jamaica. My practice of law was shut down because of all kinds of unjust things. Um, my husband's company, which he managed and I was a part of it as well, we had applied for a mobile um, cellular license we got the license and then the government cancelled it under pressure from other carriers our visas were revoked to come here we had to travel through all kinds of countries that did not require um a united, united states visa we had to go to amsterdam and then come down to johannesburg Trinidad, uh, yes. it, so it's been a real sacrifice and a journey to be here so we were very pleased when pastor located us in the first session I mean, I am overwhelmed and he spoke about Lowell having 
uh, priestly anointing. Well, both of us really, but he started with Lowell. But he <laughs> says, it's both of you because you're together, which was just amazing because he and Mama Celeste are both leading this ministry and Lowell and I have the same desire to do something like that in Jamaica and he spoke about God giving us a voice yes. we have a radio program in Jamaica that is streamed live as well Lowell is the producer I am the host along with an, a pastor um, he spoke about my or, or licenses yes. and he, he called me a lawyer even though I no longer practice as a lawyer but he says he's gonna mess up our enemies I am Justine Ambassador Justine from California and I I uh, serve God here. Uh, today was the day that the Lord has located us. I had so many encounters with the men of God and uh, what the men of God has located today is indeed come to pass. My, my mother has been at the hospital for the past 12 months and she has something in her neck, a tube that uh, they put in her neck for breathing. She walked to the hospital, then they gave her 24 hours to leave. And but the God of, of our Father, the God of Aflukao has come through. And today the man of God has sealed it. So I know that as I return to California, mom will rise up. She will walk again because God has located her. Even when the doctor has given her 24 hours to live, last year the God of Aflukao has come through. She didn't die. This year I know today as I came here and the man of God has located me, I know that it is done. She will walk and I know the testimony. She herself will come here and stand in this pulpit and testify. I give God glory. My name is Hyacinth Brown Supan, and today I just bless God for using the man of God to minister in my life. Now, I've been married from 2009, and I've been believing God for my babies. And so today, I just want to thank God that he have allowed the man of God to locate me. And so I'm believing God that whatever he said, whatever the prophet said, I believe. And I'm just waiting in expectancy for my twins. I came to know Hallelujah Ministries in 2018. But before that, I used to have visions and following of um, a man dressed in white. And also I died when I was 12 years old and a man dressed in white picked me up and brought me back to my mother. Then when I was 19, my baby was three weeks old. She passed away I, in my hands. I put, him, I put her down, I went out to get some air and to cry to God um, why my child died at three weeks. And suddenly this man appeared and he stood in front of me and he called me by name three times and say, go get the baby. Three times, go get the baby. So then he disappeared. Then immediately disappeared, the person I was living with um, opened the door and say, sister, come and get the baby. My name is Mary from AMI Boston in Massachusetts part of the USA. I'm here with my four of my seven siblings. This is my first IVP and I'm really blessed being here. This has been a wonderful experience. Just the teaching, just the fellowship, just this whole um, experience has been a great blessing to me. And this is also my first time in South Africa. So in 2018 was when by YouTube I came to know about Pastor Alf Lokau. My son was um, on life support and I was looking for for um, air ticket to travel to Nigeria for prayers and then suddenly the YouTube channel came to my phone to my telephone and I saw uh, Pastor Alf Lokal was preaching and I noticed the face I said no I know this man and suddenly I started recalling through my life, my lifetime. And I noticed it was Pastor Alf Lukau and I managed to look for med um, uh, money and I traveled to South Africa in December crossover. And my son actually was in a, a life support. He had lost his pancreas. And as I traveled, I believed in God that this man who has been following me since I was 12 years old was going to 
to do something. Uh, God was going to use him to heal my son. So I came to Hallelujah Ministries, and when I went back, um, when I left, my son had only 10% of his pancreas. When I went back, uh, he had recovered all of his pancreas. So I thank God for that, and I thank God for, for, for Papa Alf Lukau. And since then, I have been AMI, AMI for life. My name is Pastor Simba Taingwa, son of Alf Lukau. I am based in the city of Birmingham, United Kingdom. I'm here just to encourage somebody to expect the unexpected. It is a blessing. It has been a miracle for us to be here. I just want to thank you and honor you for everything that you are doing for us, standing in the gap for us, praying for us. And while you are praying, you make us stand. My name is Aisatu, Aisatu Kabia. I'm from AMI UK. We came for the IVP, so we landed yesterday morning. So in the airport, trying to exit, I wanted to use the ladies and then I lost my purse, which contained my passport, my um, provisional driving license, my bank card, my phone, you know, other documents, important stuff, and I couldn't find it. So I was really stressed and I asked everyone around, they couldn't find it. So they advised me to go to the department um, for lost property. I went there, I couldn't find anything. So they advised me to say, okay, you go to get a police report so they can go through the CCTV to locate it for you because it's, um, my passport is really important. So I went um, to the police station to get um, the police report. And when I came back, they couldn't go through the CCTV because they explained to me it's a long process and so many people need to be involved, so it's impossible to do. I was really stressed because my flight landed at 10.30 and I lost uh, my post between half 10 and 11, approximately that time. But I couldn't leave until like 3.30 to 4. I still stayed um, at the airport because I was waiting also to speak to Virgin Airlines, which was the flight I booked to come in and I was supposed to return on Sunday. And they said to me, I'm sorry, ma'am, we can't help you. It's impossible to travel without passports. And they advised me to go to um, embassy to go and get a police to take the police report and to also for them to give me emergency travel card and they said it's based in Pretoria so I was really really stressed until half three going to four o'clock then I said okay let me go to my hotel there's nothing I can do I was really tired so I went to the hotel and I wanted to freshen up obviously I went to the bathroom and when I came out out of the bathroom and my hotel room is just me, there's no one in. And when I came out of the bathroom, then I saw the purse lying on top of the drawer. The drawer, it's a large drawer cabinet, it looks like a table as well. The purse was lying there and I promise you, when I went into that room, that purse was not there because I put my bag just close to it. There was nothing on the table. And when I came back, I found my purse on top of the, of the drawer. And all my documents, even the money that was in, everything, how I left it. I just want to say, Papa Al, Mama Celeste, we love you dearly. I have truly, truly been blessed. I am so honored and privileged to have had the opportunity to touch the sacred altar. So thank you for that great opportunity, and I am so blessed and happy. When I came here the first time, I put my hands on the altar. I prayed for Burkina Faso, and I prayed for California. Today we have a home cell in Burkina Faso, and we have a home cell in California. The God of Aflukao is indeed a prayer answering God. Konnichiwa. My name is Nagahama Manabu. Konnichiwa. Pastor Rie. え、ここの、え、南アフリカに来て本当にパワフルな礼拝、そして神様の臨在がとっても溢れた、え、礼拝になっています。本当にこう来てよかったなっていうふうに思います。本当たくさんの、え、人たち、またたくさんのファミリー
Oh, wow. he said I was bright and I have insight. <laughs> but you know, we love Hallelujah Ministries yes. International. We're part of the establishment of AMI in Jamaica. And I know that our Jamaican family is going to be just overwhelmed to know that Pastor located us and that God had a word for us. Pastor Af, I love you so much. You are indeed my spiritual father. And Mom, Bishop Celeste, you are the flower of MI. I love you and together for life. In 2019, I was diagnosed with a blood disease. That's how I come to know about AMI through YouTube. So Papa was preaching and he said, if your God is dead, um, come and try mine. So but with faith, I went for the IVP um, in 2019. And I was prayed for and then I came back. So during the encounter again, I went. And along the way, glory to, be to Jesus, I have been healed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Lord of Abraham, the Lord of Isaac, Shadrach and Abednego, the Lord of Afrika, me and you together for life.